What's up guys and welcome to today's video. If you've been here before, shout out to you. Thank you for tuning in to yet another video. And if you're new here, welcome, join the family, get down there and hit subscribe. And while you're down there, hit the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. So we got our daily BMW E60 over here. And as you can see, it's black on black, which is pretty cool, but it kind of looks a little too plain and everything is kind of starting to look messed up. As you can see, we have the wheel paint starting to flake off and then it just looks boring. So on today's agenda, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be painting the calipers and possibly the rotors, I'm not sure yet. And by rotors, I mean just the hats and the outer rim. So I thought, what color can I do on this car that's not too common, not too outdone? And I stumbled upon the VHT yellow caliper paint. This is actually pretty hard to get. I was only able to get one can, so we might be running low. We're gonna do the backs first, see how it turns out. If we need to get another can, then we'll just order another one. Hopefully we can find one. And then we have some black engine enamel here. It's gloss black. So we're really gonna make this thing pop because we are gonna be working on the calipers today and then later on in the week, we're gonna be doing the wheels in gloss black. So stay tuned if you guys wanna see that too. So I got the car jacked up, I got the jack stands under there. So now we can go ahead and take the wheels off and see what we're working with. So we got the rotor. Like I said, I kinda of wanna paint this hat and then this outer ring right here. I think we will, not sure. Um, the caliper, we're gonna remove the caliper and then we're gonna remove the, bra we're gonna separate the caliper and the caliper bracket because I'm thinking the caliper bracket and maybe this piece right here, I'm gonna sandblast so I can get it down to bare, bare metal. Get that painted nicely. This, we're gonna just leave it on the car. I don't like to jack it up too much. I literally leave it on the bottom post of the jack stand because I want to just let it hang on something right here and paint it here on the ground. I don't like doing the whole like masking everything up right here. I think it takes too much time. Just raise the car a little bit, put something here to lay the caliper on so you're not literally dangling off this rubber hose and you should be good. Okay, so we have the caliper off, we got the rotor off, we got the caliper bracket off of the caliper. So we got everything separated. These two things right here are gonna get sandblasted and this we're just gonna go ahead and hit it with the wire wheel and then some sandpaper. Get it smoother, I guess, cause it's honestly not that bad. It's pretty smooth. And the rotor is actually very smooth as well. Like. This is very minimal surface for us, so it should be easy to sand this down so we can get that painted. So let's go ahead and start working on it. All right guys, so we got the caliper ready to go. We have it taped up where we don't want paint to get. I'm lucky enough to have aluminum calipers, so I don't have to worry about missing certain areas and starting to rust. I also went ahead and got these sandblasted, so these are ready to go. And I taped up the face of this rotor, so we're gonna go ahead and paint the hat and then on the sides right here as well.
All right, so we got our caliper painted right there. We have the bracket and the little piece that holds the brake caliper in place painted. Now would be a good time to just brake clean all the brake shoe stuff. And then I'm gonna try to hit it with brake clean here and here and just try to rub it off. It should come off. I got a little bit of overspray right here on the hose too. I know that should definitely come off with just some brake cleaner and a rag. Um, we got our rotor right here. So I ended up painting the face as well as this right here. This overspray right here is no problem because once you start breaking, it'll just eat it up anyways. But I think I am gonna go ahead and try to sand some of it off. So we're gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up, put it all back together and see how it looks. All right guys, check out how awesome this thing came out. So we got the black hat. So this is literally all you'll see. This and this from the rotor. So that's black, that's not gonna rust. And then everything you can see from the caliper painted nice and yellow. Doing it this way is a little more time consuming, but as you can see, it looks basically factory because you don't have any overspray on anything. You don't have the pads that are spray painted. I know some people do that. They just go over the whole thing. I don't like that look. I like it to look like that's how it came. So as you can see, it looks pretty dope. So I'm starting to do the other one and yeah, I'm gonna need another can. But I just threw the wheel on this side and check out how cool that looks. Just imagine it with some fresh gloss black paint on the rims. This thing is gonna look so sick. Check that out. Imagine yellow up there too. Uh, it's gonna look nice. Unfortunately, the paint has to be ordered, so I have to wait like another day or two until I can get it and finish the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the back for today, but this is where this video is gonna end for you guys. So if you liked it, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And while you're down there, hit the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any future video, like painting the wheels. So I'll see you guys next time. As always, keep moving forward and stay on the gas.